Well, we are privileged uh, that our next speaker is joining in to tell us more about data center standards and future trends, understanding the India landscape. We are honored by the kind presence of Sri Amitesh Kumar Sinha, IRAS, Joint Secretary, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India. Yes, the man responsible for the policy making for data centers across the country, heading the e-governance. We have so much to learn from him and I'm sure organizations today can look forward to his and his team's support we thank you sir for joining us and we look forward to hearing from you thank you uh, today, I just want to uh, thank uh, the, the Economic Times Data Center Virtual Summit organizers, who has uh, 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 who has invited all the stakeholders related to the data center setup in India. Uh, to begin with, I will just say that uh, the METI initiated Digital India Policy in 2015, and since then, a lot of e-governance services have uh, have come on board. And uh, not only in public sector, in private sector also a lot of activities have taken place and we have a huge uh, 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 services available with us in digital mode. Uh, in, during pandemic, we all felt the importance of uh, uh, digital governance and uh, uh, the private players also, when everything was uh, closed, so this virtual mode of working, work from home, etc., become very handy. And, uh, and because of that, now today we are seeing a very uh, uh, big generation of data from all corners, uh, public or private. Uh, we are also witnessing huge online payments, all works going digital. Emerging technologies are also playing their role. We have a lot of uh, IoT, uh, artificial intelligence, machine language, blockchain technology. Uh, upcoming 5G technologies, these technologies are going to generate huge data and, and because of uh, generation of data, the storage is, becomes very important. When the storage becomes important, uh, obviously the need of data center also becomes important. And uh, in that context, uh, in the ministry, we are seeing India as a global hub for uh, future data centers, not only to cater the need of uh, India, Indian uh, data, but also data of neighboring countries. Uh, in 2017, Honorable Supreme Court have also given some judgment. They have uh, recognized privacy as a fundamental right and personal data is part of it. In 2019, RBI has also issued a uh, circular that payment and data of Indian customers should be stored in, uh, in local servers. So that is again giving us a hint that uh, going ahead, we have to prepare ourselves for data storage. And then we are in METI, we are working uh, uh, for data, uh, personal data protection bill. And they will be again recognizing the need of uh, privacy. They will mandate some, something there also. So, uh, uh, so, so now this is very clear that uh, we need data storage and uh, uh, generation of data is taking place uh, with a rapid pace. Now, we are in METI also, uh, preparing a policy on data center and uh, we're also working on a scheme. Uh, this will help you all industry players to set up a competitive green data center in India. When I say that uh, uh, green data center, uh, I am focusing, I am concentrating on two things. One is use of renewable energy in data centers because from a climate change and sustainability point of view, this has become more important and India has recently uh, the Honorable PM has committed a target of 500 gigawatt by 2030. So it is uh, uh, it is responsibility of all ministries to support uh, in, in that endeavor also. So one is uh, renewable energy uh, use and second is uh, increasing the efficiency of data centers by reducing power users effectiveness. So if uh, uh, at one place we are able to manage our data center in less power, less energy, and if we are replacing that energy by renewable energy, then probably we are uh, uh, going in the right direction and we are also serving the ultimate goal of climate change. 
apart from that uh, focus in uh, ministry is uh, on uh, making india atmanirbhar uh, in equipment making which is required for uh, data center also so a lot lot of softwares and uh, hardware is required so we are uh, very keen to promote uh, such kind of uh, uh, products indigenous product in data center you know that uh, ministry has already uh, worked out pli schemes for manufacturing of hardwares not only meti but uh, department of telecommunication has also come up with a pli scheme and servers net uh, routers switches and many other things are uh, under manufacturing lot of manufacturers have shown their interest also but in order to generate demand from data center side also we want to uh, we want to work more and we are making a scheme which will facilitate uh, generation of demand also uh, from data center side as far as government is concerned you all know about public procurement order and uh, whenever the uh, capacity of uh, servers or uh, data center equipment or products will be available we will be publishing list uh, list 1 list 2 for those categories and then uh, as uh, as far as government procurement procurement is concerned whether it is nice nic or whether any other government organization who are looking for data storage or data center activities they will have to source their material from uh, these local suppliers manufacturers so going ahead this is very important and uh, we want to make india a global hub by making data center very competitive and i am very sure that uh, if a uh, lot of uh, uh, activity that we have planned if we are uh, we are arranging that then probably uh, then probably uh, we are going to achieve that target also uh, we will pro provide some incentive from our side uh, to start with and uh, uh, government will facilitate industry by uh, giving some kind of uh, policy uh, measures or some kind of uh, support mechanism uh, as far as uh, uh, power is concerned so i understand that uh, uh, accessing renewable energy power or directly uh, procuring renewable energy power and using in a data center is a very difficult thing you need lot of clearances from state government also so ministry of power has uh, an mnre they have already circulated a draft uh, Uh, rules on open access uh, to industry players, and that is under finalisation. Draft uh, was submitted few months ago. The stakeholders have already given their comments, and uh, it is in final stage. Probably in a month or two, this open access rules will also be notified. Uh, in our policy document, we will also uh, provide some enablers for uh, uh, building clearances because lot of uh, changes in building codes are required. so we will we are working with uh, uh, ministry of housing and urban affairs uh, a team has also also been constituted so uh, unless the state governments uh, come up with specific uh, building code guidelines uh, we will also provide some indicative kind of guidelines to help industry players uh, we at the meti uh, will run uh, probably run a scheme also and if uh, beneficiaries will be selected in those schemes we will try to handhold and facilitate them also till uh, they set up their entire uh, data center so uh, i am very hopeful uh, we have to be uh, a world class uh, data center hub and, uh, and the importance of data center as well as, as, well as cloud services is uh, uh, very clear to all of us we are all are um, uh, making applications and, and putting it on cloud so that uh, it can be accessed by any person anywhere at any time so this kind of uh, uh, thing is Uh, going to increase in future also we are doing lot of other works also on uh, providing sandbox kind of uh, uh, environment where uh, uh, where where the, the innovators or uh, uh, the startups can uh, access it and uh, and test their uh, innovative solutions so we will also work on those things with this i think uh, uh, i am quite hopeful and in case any uh, questions or any queries there i am ready to answer that Uh, thank you so much thank you for inviting me once again over to you isha